Yeah, my character is pretty isolated by her choice. She suffered a, a, a terrible hurt, emotional hurt when she was a child, and uh, she is stagnant in that. She, yes, she's emotional and angry, uh, but she hides behind science, physics, numbers, equations, and it's through her work, actually, that she discovers that love never dies. That's, so, that's what's so um, moving to me. Well, I think people will be surprised because when you see the, the trailers and you see the um, posters, you think, okay, this is an outer space science fiction film. They're going on planets and all that jazz. But yes, it's an outer space film. It's, the visuals are insane and you can hardly breathe and the action and these sequences are just mind blowing. But at the core, it's a film about the powerful bonds of love and the relationship between a father and his daughter. You could take that story and put it in any setting. It doesn't even have to be space travel. And that's still what the film's about. And how credible to juxtapose that large scale of going out there to realize actually what's, what's really important to you is, is at home. Yeah. I know, I'm, the idea, there's so many theories in this film that I'm just starting to discover, you know, I've never been a science brain or astrophysics, it's, you know, I hadn't really thought, okay, this is something I'm going to explore. But what's great is coinciding with the release of the film, Kip Thorne, who was, is our executive producer, and he's a leading theoretical physicist, he's um, releasing a book. So in addition to the incredible emotional journey that you experience with the characters, if you want to delve more deeper into science and the relation between time and gravity and how each one affects each other and black holes, you can read it. Working with Michael Caine was a dream come true. In fact, one day when we were shooting, I looked over at Chris. Michael couldn't see because I didn't want to embarrass him. And I said to him, thank you so much. Today is a really special day. Um, yeah, I remember him from Hannah and her sisters. And he's a film legend. And I'll forever be able to say I worked with Michael Caine. That was my a beautiful mind moment. Well, Kip Thorne was on set with me that day, and he told me that the equation I'm writing ac in actuality um, is three blackboards long. So yeah, I, I kind of understood. She's a woman like, you know when you start to crack a code, you stop like, you stop thinking of anything else and just your eyes change in a way. And that's what that moment is for her. She starts to figure things out. <laughs> the fun thing is, I didn't have to fully understand, I got to act it. <laughs> That was easier. Ooh. If I had a specific skill that um, we needed to save the human race, of course I would have to go. It would be devastating for me because the most important thing in my life is my friends and my family. Um, so yeah, it would, I'm not a mother yet. I can't imagine making that decision. But in a way, not going actually is dooming your children. So it's like sacrificing yourself for the greater good.